All right, we're gonna back up. We're back into chapter six. I think I'll talk during the cutscene. Stop there after your last one. Again. I need a drink. I'll be picking it back up. Wonder if it saved my. Is okay. And I already read through. Picking okay. You're awake, Mr. Pierce. How do you feel? Did I sleep long? The day is only starting. It's fine. How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the Force, but that'll come soon. Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you all right? You look like you saw a ghost. I... Th there are things I, I can't explain. Tell us. What happened? I saw people in hoods. They had stolen Mrs. Hawkins' paintings. Who are you talking about? Why would they do such a thing? I don't know, but they were a threat. They've taken over the caves under the mansion. They were performing some kind of ritual. One of the entryways was under Charles Hawkins' office. We suspect Mr. Hawkins of being involved. My patients believe the old islanders used to worship primitive sea gods. Could they be the focus of the cult? Am I hearing this right? So you think me gullible? No, not at all. What else did you uncover, Mr. Pierce? Right, one sec. You should be dead, medical professional. I don't think professionals say he would die from that. What I'm sure of now is that the Hawkins case isn't just an accident. And what brings you to that conclusion? The fact that Charles Hawkins survived the fire. I don't understand. Mr. Hawkins was buried. That's what he would have you believe. I have a hard time believing you. You were there, Bradley. You even opened fire on him. I'd remember that. Why would he fake his own death? Do you think he covered up his wife's murder? That's possible. It seems hard to swallow. Don't you have anything more concrete, Pierce? Bradley, what do you remember? I don't understand your question. The night we went into the Hawkins mansion, you don't seem to remember the tunnels and what occurred there. Uh, no memory of going down any tunnel. No, we were in the manor, then... Uh, then what? I... Uh, the rest is quite blurry. I don't recall how I came back home. And then? I went to visit you at the hospital. And called on Marie's help to get you released. And you don't remember the events of the tunnel? I don't. Let's talk about something else. Hmm. You two know each other pretty well. It's a tiny island. Everyone knows everyone. Especially since I'm a police officer and Marie's a doctor. The chemistry is obvious. I do seem a little bit stupid, don't I? <laughs> anyway, let's get back to the business at hand. I have flashbacks. They haunt me. What did they do to you? There was that Dr. Fuller. 
and a nurse. Blood everywhere. My legs, the pain, I, I couldn't bear it. I was screaming. They injected me with something. I woke up at the Institute. Bradley was there. And how you scared us. You seemed... demented. You likely woke up during the anesthesia. No wonder those memories haunt you. What in God's name were they doing to you? What happened afterwards? When I woke up the second time, I was in a padded cell. That's where you found me, Doctor. After you released me, I got a good look at what's in store for the patients of the Riverside Institute. Hallucinogenic gas pumped into the cells. An infernal machine. Horrific medical experiments. Impossible. Dr. Fuller would never do such a thing. You should believe it, Ethan. What Mr. Pierce saw is precisely what I've been trying to prove. Did you discover anything else? Given the energy he pours into Riverside, I presume it was Fuller's creation. His father's, to be correct. He was a surgeon on board the Scylla. He founded the hospital in 1904 with funds from the Hawkins family before he died and his son Thomas Fuller took over. Two families inextricably linked. Most island families are that way. Captain Fitzroy's father was also a seaman aboard the Scylla. Powerful families dominating everything. Yes, and as you could tell, Dr. Fuller is like some crazed emperor. He wouldn't be happy if he knew we were snooping around. I know the risks. I don't fear him. Do you wish to know anything else? Dr. Fuller seems to be leaving a trail of corpses. Not to mention those strange machines, chains, and tools of all kind. Yes. I've been telling you that Fuller uses his patients as... guinea pigs. What I saw was more akin to torture than medicine. Do you even hear what you're saying? Dr. Fuller is highly respected. It's the truth, Ethan. And I'll prove it to you. I'm listening, Mr. Pierce. I found a file bearing Sarah Hawkins' name in the Institute's basement. It makes sense. A powerful family like the Hawkins had the means to hide such a disgrace. But everyone knows the Fullers have been taking care of the Hawkins for at least a generation. And all were aware of Mrs. Hawkins' fragility. Perhaps, but no one would allow a psychiatric internment. From what I read in the file, Fuller used her as a subject of his experiments. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins, subjects of Dr. Fuller. Why those two? I, I met a Francis Sanders. Do you know him? Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins. And that's what killed him. What? How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain it. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. I didn't see what, but something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? This makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders. An art collector, you say? That's probably how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of hmm. it. He's right. We can't ignore the truth. But it could drive her mad. Better madness than ignorance. Very well. 
I'll go to see Francis's widow. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. Let us go now and learn the truth about what's happening on this island. The other night's events are still confused in my head. Any books I can get really fast? That was really interesting, though. I decided to tell her because, I mean, why not? This guy's also a detective, so I feel like truth. What he's always looking for. Like, he shouldn't really hide the truth like that. Here. Right upstairs. Do it. Wouldn't let me go up here earlier. Two in the same place. Sanders resident. Oh, jeez. Pierce, Colden, and Bradley decided to team up to solve the Sarah Hawkins case. They have a new trail to follow. Francis Sanders, an art collector and a friend of the painter who died right in front of Pierce. The detective goes to his house in order to speak to his widow about the shambler that the unfortunate man mentioned before he died. say that if I know him I have a destiny now what can I do for you sir Mrs. Sanders I'm a private detective we must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins can I come in you may however before we go any further please know that my husband died yesterday that is precisely what brings me here well, well. Look who's here. You know each other. Our paths crossed. Briefly. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death. Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. Miss Baker? This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? I actually know about the attack. He had this attack. What happened to your husband is terrible, Mrs. Sanders. But from what I saw, it was inevitable. The man I met yesterday had lost his reason. He suffers no longer, if you would allow me such a platitude. Of course. Thank you for your kind words. Nobody in that hospital would have deigned to speak them to me. However, it will require more than that to soothe my mind. I need like to destiny. understand. How could this happen in a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes, did you not do anything to help him? It's terrible what happened to your husband, but I had nothing to do with it. I was injured, and I came across him in the hospital quite by chance. Injured? Well, I'm delighted to see you in such fine fettle, detective. 
Not everybody enjoyed such a prompt recovery. I suppose Fuller does do miracles now and again. Luck is obviously very kind to you. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. I deduce that your husband already mentioned this dimensional shambler. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The Shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself, if you feel so inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it... Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. Did she really care for him, after all? The day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. <laughs> Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? I don't know how I got that from that. A house of artists. A house of artists. But again, I'm not the detective. Sanders' accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler. Finally. Why did it? Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell a painting? Got it for free, too. He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? Was she jealous of Sarah Hawkins? Wait. With him misspelled jealous. He didn't want Sanders to have the painting. She must have felt devastated. Why do you need to see it if it's going to drive you crazy? Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. Go back over here, just brown, blues. Of course. What is it? Right, okay. Nothing. This is getting very interesting. My guy's just going crazy. Strange Amerindian pendant. Strange. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting, to finally give it away for nothing. I don't want to look at the painting. I could use one of those.
Another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. I don't know why that was a test of strength. Gonna affect my destiny if I don't read That's the book. That's twice you've stepped on my toes, Detective. Try not to make a habit of it. I've got a lot of bad habits. Some can be more fatal than others. What have you come looking for in this gallery? I have a well-off client in Boston who Look. heard about the death Go of there. Francis Sanders and wanted me to size up his estate before making an offer to his widow. Nice story. Bad lie. Learn how to dupe, detective. But as long as you keep out of my way, you're free to carry on with your visit. And you? I'm here on business. Irene asked me to liquidate all these paintings. She doesn't intend to hang around here for long. Why you? Believe it or not, there aren't many collectors on Darkwater. It needs someone with a network and a means of transport to the mainland. A choice that comes down to Fitzroy and me. And I'm far more pleasant, wouldn't you say? Okay. I want to read this book. What does it say on it? No, nah, I'm not reading the book. Screw that. <laughs> I'm not reading that. I gotta read it. I feel like this is gonna make me go crazy. I'm gonna read it. <laughs> I'm just gonna read it. Full send. Yep, okay. I knew that was gonna have an effect on me. <laughs> my sanity. Mental trauma, yep. Dimensional shamble, that's what it looks like. Okay. Inventory, I got this, I got a key. Got more knowledge on sleeping pills. Is at 50%. It's pretty high. Medical is almost am above amateur. Well, we have professional. I could have deduced that that guy was dead. Oh gosh. I have to hide from something? No way. This look at this painting is not going to be a good idea. Let's try it. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Take a knife, bro. That's gonna be some weird stuff going on. These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. This is Shambler. Okay, I'm gonna wait to go in there. I'm going to explore as much as I can without having to deal with that painting. The public entrance to the gallery. Great. Hour's gonna go out. We got lantern oil. Why was he so interested in old weapons? Bigger or something? Hmm. I'm just getting clues right here. Going around all the. The man transforms an entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. Or lamp oil. Did he have a phonograph in um, the office, I wonder? Let me go. I'm going to go check that really fast, and I'll come back in this room. But I don't want to miss that, because I don't know if the has got one. Or... Yeah. Phonograph in here. Look, quick look. Yeah, I don't think so. I didn't see one of these. Is this dagger part of Sanders' collection, or was he seeking to acquire it? I know a dagger. He didn't have one, right? 
No. The closest thing. These artifacts date from pre Columbian like times. It's looking like this. Okay. All right. All right, let's go. Look at the shambler and then get to a nice run and hide. Oh, my eyes out. Ooh. What the hell was that? Still in here. E. scary stuff. This is an investigation game. Checkpoint. Do I need to like stab him with a dagger? I know where the dagger is. Like back right, I think, when I was looking. Where else is that painting of the dagger? Is? I've already seen this, so I'm gonna skip it. What the hell?
Damn. Maybe I can use this dagger. I think this is the one, right? Oh, guy's right there, but I'm pretty sure this is the one. Oh, boy. Guess not. <laughs> Guess I can't use that dagger. What if I stab the painting? What the hell was that? Okay. Take this way. Dagger. I'm trying to stab his ass. That was the closest one I could find, I think. I resembled it. Damn. Maybe I can use this dagger. I can't even touch it. Oops. Oh God. Ah. Double the dagger. Not bad. Right, I'm gonna level up my skills after I get out of this freaking mess. What the hell was that? Okay. Maybe I can use this dagger. What? Oh what? Ah. Why I never. What the hell was that? Good luck. That maybe I can use this dagger. Drop me, bitch. <sighs> that dies, whatever. I know that dagger won't work. Knowledge gained. Back turned. music. That's so loud. Okay. It's the other possible dagger. I'm gonna take another look at the clip. Oh, man, me. 
Let's look at the dagger. I'm dead, so I'm just gonna look. You get that dagger and go uh, stab it. What the hell was that? The Shambler. This dagger looks different. Yeah, get wrecked. There's our mouth. Come here. You sure you won't be needing that hand? You're losing it, detective. At this rate, you're right. The bottle will get you before I do. You didn't see anything. I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? Sanders was right. This painting is cursed. What are you talking about? I was attacked by a creature. I pushed it back. I think. I... I think so, too. I ran, screamed, broke a pane of glass. You were in the next room, and you didn't hear a thing. If I hadn't heard a thing, I'd still be in the other room. The door was blocked. I got in as soon as I could. I like to look after my goods. You mean me? Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. I'm talking about the contents of this gallery. And by the way, where do you think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extraordinary dagger. You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. He'll tell you all about it. Was in From what bar. I saw in the ledgers, it was him who sold it to Sanders. The creature. This dagger was the only weapon capable of pushing it back. If Hawkins was trying to get rid of this shambler, she might have made contact with Drake. This antique dealer has a good knowledge of the occult. I have nothing to lose by meeting him. You've got your spunk back. Go where you want. I'm staying here to talk business with Irene.
terrible. Everyone just thinks I'm crazy. <clears throat> Chapter 7, The Nameless Bookstore. Shambler turned out to be much more than an artwork painted by Sarah Hawkins. As a huge creature came out of the painting to attack Pierce, after a hard fight, the detective managed to send it back to the painting. He later discovered that the dagger he used to repel the creature had been sold to Sanders by a man named Algonorn. Owner of the nameless bookstore, Pierce decides to pay the library. No way, dude. Another creepy books? thing. Dude. I'm actually about to be talking to this guy since we did this. Or. Talking about to have verbal. Freud's The Interpretation of Dreams. It's the work that laid the foundations of psychoanalysis at the beginning of this century. Another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. Missed the first one. There's no king on whether oh, it is the king. No, it's yes it is, okay. I never use my lamps. Or dark water history. Being very meticulous. Nice. Started. Where did they break in blood? Seems like amateur work. Someone tall left this footprint. A man, probably. Thanks. Investigation better work. 70% of. So. This burglar seems to be rather clumsy. Oh. You hear the ding? It's it actually worked. It's like a skill check. Um, B and A, or Call of Cthulhu. Well, what killed all these animals? What sort of thief leaves his tools at the crime scene? What happened that made the burglar flee before finishing his work? What the? Charles Hawkins? Oh! Looks like the symbol rejected Hawkins. Where did I see it? What sort of power did Sarah Hawkins' painting possess? Sarah Hawkins helped hide something in this safe. Am I missing something? Oh, here we go. Drake put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. 
Everything is linked to the Sarah Hawkins case. That's just seeing this. The scene reconstruction was just like. I had no. Drake left instructions on how to find the combination of his safe. What a strange amulet. I have a feeling I'd better not touch it. Infinity, I am right now. I'm still shaking. Okay, not bad. I'm not like delusional, going crazy, like go crazy. It's it, it, stupid. Dagger of the Ancients, painting of the Shambler, the Hound. Do I make a good mistake too? Right, then I need to read that document. Isn't everyone on this island taking sleeping. What link did he find between Charles Hawkins and an old amulet? He that bears the elder sign is the only one able to protect your psyche is in the form of the center of the magical sign hanging at the end of a heavy chain hundreds of years ago. The star and the branch of purple to push back the force of the great old ones were engraved at its center. Everything points to it being Charles Hawkins that tore it from the last owner, an Egyptian antique dealer. And press cuttings that mention the misdemeanor date of the robbery coincides was, was with the last Hawkins trip. Uh, remains to be seen whether he knows that the true purpose of the artifact try to find it. That could be really, really helpful. Okay. Allow me to go ahead and probably what I get. I got this. I need to read this. Page seems to be hidden here. It is possible to read. When he finds these memoirs, there will be no doubt that I am in serious trouble. My last and only hope is that my body and bones are still in this plane of reality. In order that they be recovered and burned, the funeral urn must be given to my dear mother if she still is of this world. The following message is of capital importance. Whoever reads these lines and demonstrates acuity, as sharp as mine, can hope to gain access to most precious possession. It lies within my safe, and the clues to the combination are to be found in three cylinders each hidden where life and study combining in the Greek world. Each cylinder is numbered, even if, as the celebrated author says, order is the pleasure of reason, but its order is the delight of the imagination. Indeed, despite my preference of organization, organized chaos, I must admit the reason usually prevails in the end. If by chance a person, or should I say a genius, was to match my intellect and find the combination of the safe, I would ask that they deliver its content into the safekeeping of my friend and colleague, Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University. The content of this safe is not only a vast digest of knowledge, but also a weapon that is far too dangerous for it to fall into the, the wrong hands. I hope that you will be able to appreciate the danger that they this represents and that you will act accordingly. In any event, I will neither be there to guide you nor to suffer from your actions. Okay. Now I'm back. All right, cool. Second. I'm looking for cylinders. Arkham editions? Never heard of them. How many volumes are there in this collection? Another volume by Arkham editions. Arkham editions? Never How many volumes are there? Uh, Another volume by Arkham editions. Arkham editions? How many volumes are there in this collection? Okay, that's probably a clue, but I'm stupid, so let me just... It's definitely the clue. I'm seeing if there's anything else I can interact with first. Oops. Lamp oil. Just what I needed. Cylinders that Drake tried to hide. I should Doing perhaps three. listen to them. On what? I don't have a phonogram. A phonogram in here? Alright, let's see. I gotta find the phonogram. I wonder if it's all the way in here. It's medical. Um. Can I just listen to it in my inventory? Okay. 
I missing something? Let me check. If I have like, if I just have a phonogram, there's no way I do. Phonogram. Where are you? Here we go. And these red rocks, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. Yeah. Dear friend, I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that you sent Damn, me. Damn, all this. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. Look for Volume 9. The Queen has little protection. Okay. Red Drops, Holy Grail. Drake talked about a particular volume. So these are the volumes that Drake. What did Drake say about this collection? Drake talked about a particular. So these are the volumes what are you that about? Drake. Hang on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Was talking Shoot. about. In what did Drake volume say nine about this collection? Two. Drake talked about a particular volume. So these are the volumes that Drake was talking. What did Drake say about this collection? Drake talked about a particular. I bet so I these are the volumes that. Dr what did Drake say about this collection? Is this? No. Drake hmm. talked about a particular volume. Being stupid. I don't know. I don't know. Roman numerals. Let's look that up. Roman numerals. Nine is volume nine. So these are the volumes that it. Drake was talking about in his message. I can pause for you. Up there, I know that. Open this safe. Okay. I don't know the first one at all, by the way. Uh, um, three, let's see. Uh, this is the chessboard. There's uh, three protectors. There was, and, okay, three people on the board. Volume nine. Pretty pretty. Yeah, there's three white pieces on the board protecting the queen. There is. Oh, holy grail. The chalice of knowledge. Red drops on the chalice. Let's see. One. Two. Oh, here. I'm sorry. The crack. Sorry. The crack. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay. Let's go. I'm a genius. Dude. 
dude, watch out. Dude.